In this tutorial, we learn how to evaluate definite integrals using the TI Inspire. And to do so, we're going to work through the example that we see here. We're asked to evaluate the integral from 1 to 3 of the function x squared times sine of x squared. So let's go right ahead and learn how to do this with our TI Inspire. We can see here that I'm on the home page of the TI Inspire CX. Now to integrate, the first thing I have to do is select graph. So I go ahead and click on graph. Now I need to enter the function's equation. So remember, that was x squared times sine of x squared. So I go ahead and type that. That's x squared times sine of x squared. And I hit enter. Done. Now the first thing we notice here is that we have a bit of a mess on the screen. Indeed, there's far too much going on here for us to really be able to analyze this graph. So before doing anything, I need to resize my window or change my window settings. Remembering that we're integrating from x equals to 1 up to x equals to 3, I'll go ahead and choose a window setting of, say, x between negative 1 and 4, or negative 1 and 5, something like that. To do that, I go ahead and click on Menu. I then select the fourth option, Window slash Zoom, and the first option I see is Window Settings, which I click on. Now it's asking me for the x min, in other words, the smallest x value, and as I said, I'll make that negative 1. For the maximum x value, I'll go ahead and select x equals to 4. And for the y min and y max values, I'll go ahead and increase those a bit because I could see that the curve was going all over the place. So I'll say y min equals to negative 15 and y max equals to 15. And that should work okay. I now click OK. We can now see the curve in a much clearer way. And I'll just move this label here to the side. There we go. All right, we're now ready to evaluate the definite integral. To do that, I go ahead and click on Menu. I then select the sixth option, Analyze Graph. I then select the sixth option again, that's Integral, and I click on that. Notice that it now asks me for the lower bound. Remember, we were integrating from x equals to 1 to x equals to 3, so our lower bound is 1. And all I have to do to say that is type 1. I then click Enter. It now asks me for the upper bound, and the upper bound, remember, was x equals to 3. So I type 3, and again I click Enter. And we're done. The calculator has just evaluated this definite integral. We can see here that it's equal to 1.54. And in fact, I'll move that text a little bit so we can see it clearly. There we go. The definite integral is equal to 1.54. And so going back to our question, we can now state that this definite integral equals to 1.54, and it's often a good idea in an exam to specify in parentheses with GDC, meaning Graphical Display Calculator. And there we have it. That's how we can evaluate definite integrals using the TI Inspire CX. And that's it for this tutorial.